morning. So before I go to therapy today, I'm going to have a smoothie. It's got um, a banana, blueberries, pineapples, and some milk. And I was going to have coffee, but I didn't have any of the coffee that I wanted. I only have like a cinnamon sugar coffee and then like some decaf. And then some of this, I don't in particular like this almond biscotti it's okay but it's a required taste and i'm just not in the mood for it so i'm gonna have to drink a smoothie this morning for breakfast that's gonna be my breakfast for this morning anyways so i'm gonna go drink this and watch the today show so i am currently on my way to go to therapy and i'm just not looking forward to it because i've had a rough morning my thigh has really given me a fit and it's crazy it's just like it's moving upwards and it's just really weird feeling and really scary feeling so I'm gonna go do this and do therapy and then try to get me a doctor's appointment that's all I can do hey guys so I got done with therapy and it was oh lord it was rough but they done that thing where they um stretch your back out your spine out or whatever I had to, they done it a step further for like 15 minutes this time and then I done multiple different kinds of exercises with my leg and it just it wasn't helping and it wasn't doing me good so anyways my storage got low or something so I had to delete some stuff off my phone but this coconut coffee is really good I'm not feeling good today. My leg's giving me a fit. My back's starting to hurt after doing that. And so the doctor is getting me in today. And I got me a donut. Is getting me in today to see her. My appointment wasn't until the 5th, but something's got to be done. Like, I'm so over this. The, the pain and the, the weirdness in my leg is getting worse. My anxiety from it is out of this world. Like this morning I woke up and was like starting to get ready. Full blown anxiety attack. I'm so stressed because I'm used to doing and working and taking care of people and like my whole routine and everything has got so weirded out now. Gotta breathe in, breathe out, and stay positive is all I know. But it's hard to do when you're going through this. It's like... <clears throat> I'm not sleeping good at night. I'm laying in the bed. Stretching my leg out like 100 or 200 times it seems. Donuts make me feel happy though, so... I got me a donut. But anyways, keep in your prayers. And I will let you guys know what the doctor tells me today. Hopefully something can be done. Anyways. Okay, guys. So, it is like four something here I have been on the road all day I had to go you know to my back doctor and then I had to come back to my regular primary care doctor um, and so I've been paying a couple of bills and yeah starving to death still hadn't ate well I ate that donut this morning and drank that smoothie but I gotta find me something to eat I'm tired super stressed so I went to the doctor 
and he, you know, looked at my leg, and I had to do all this stuff to where, like, I stood up with my tippy toes and then my heels about fell each time doing that, causing my leg so weak and stuff. So, he is referring me to another specialist, and they're going to do the, like, the back injections for my back or whatever, see if it will help with this numbness. <clears throat> So that's my next step. That's what I'm going to do. And I don't know when they've got to call me for all that. So kind of, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm not because I don't know how it's going to be. I mean, I've had epidurals and stuff with my kids, but I don't know. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of scary. So I've got to do that. I don't know how many times I've got to do it. Um, but... On another note, I've lost nine pounds. I weigh 150 pounds now. So, but I wasn't intending on losing weight due to this, like with my back, but I, like I'm almost down to under 150, which is super exciting. So that was something that was kind of exciting today to find out that I've lost that much more weight. Um, which I'm sure a lot of it's stress because I've just not had an appetite like to eat. Um, so we're gonna go from there. I don't know the freaking numbness like I've like I told y'all before, but like the numbness is, has moved up toward my thigh to my, the back of my hip to my butt on my left side. It's scary. It's like really scary. I'm losing sleep at night, so I had to go to my regular doctor. To have them put me on something to help me sleep because I'm tossing and turning and stretching my leg out like all the time but anyways that's that so that's the update on that I'm just hoping that it helps my leg for the numbness to go away like I want it gone so that's that but he said that numbness is coming from that tear that I have so and then the I guess the disc pushing over, pushing down on my, um, the nerves in my spine or whatever. So that's that. Anyways, I gotta go pay bills and I have got to find me something to eat. I don't know what, I'm thinking Subway sounds really good with like Subway and some chips or something. Like I'm thinking I might get that. That would be pretty good. But anyways, I hope everybody's doing good, having a good day. It's, it's raining here. It's been raining forever. It's like rain, rain, rain. I'm like so over it. After this is said and done, I will have to get me some windshield wipers because my windshield wipers are had it and you can hear them, they, they squeak. And like the, the rubber stuff on one of the things is coming off. So I'm gonna have to invest in that soon going up here and doing this. I don't know what I want to eat. Subway or something else. Cracker Barrel sounds good, don't it? I just don't like, I don't feel like going in there and dealing with the crowd. I don't know what I'm going to get. Anyways, that's that. That's the update on that mess. I have literally been running all day going to therapy, going to doctors. I did stop by at a Dollar Tree though while I was up there and I got some uh, Easter stuff for my kids so anyways that's that <laughs>